everybody should at least have one a grievance with this beast system that's in front of us. And I think if people really do the self-exploration, everybody's got multiple reasons not to like the system. So um, I just wanted to ask you, Magnus, because I know <clears throat> you've been speaking about this for, for a, a while now and you do go put a lot of uh, time and effort into the collective online. And I know sometimes you share like your frustrations because people aren't applying the knowledge that you're putting out there. So what would you say to people now with the information you're putting out in terms of Magna Carta and how can we apply that in the communities? Well, the, ma the main thing that we need is the people. Like we need millions and millions and millions. Like we need, just like with, whether you like football or not, everybody knew the World Cup final was on, whether you like football or you didn't enjoy football. Everybody was talking about it in at work, at the, their families, at all these different types of assemblies it was being talked about. So people need to not see this as being something that's complicated and involved with loads of different articles and barons and kings and queens and all of this convoluted confusion like they just need to simplify it down to the bare nuts and bolts of that treason has been declared there was a massive foghorn that sounded for ages that we all missed and didn't hear but it was it was declared treason has been declared 20 plus years ago and we are now like we've always been like essentially this is just should have been stopped the day that it was declared the day that it was declared we should have all known that treason was declared we should have all had the song sheet which is clause 61 as a set of instructions and we should have all been looking at getting in the same place to all follow out that set of instructions whether it be by taking buildings lands or possessions like whatever it took to get that change to get treason rectified should have been done so the important thing now is obviously realizing that that hasn't been done and we've had what is essentially an open declaration of treason now for 20 plus years. So we've been living in an illegitimate matrix that is enforced and very real, but holds no authority. And yeah, the reality is we've got a declaration of treason. We need to all get together and we need to read clause 61 as a set of instructions to everybody. And what does that actually look like? Um... So if you were to give a layman's guide, simple terms for someone that's maybe just hearing about Article 61 now, the, the relevance of what we're going through right now, just give us some brief instructions and brief powers that Article 61 gives to the people and just maybe just to give people a little hope that there actually is a solution out there in Article 61 and, in it, and it's not just some inaccessible ancient treaty clause that is abstract and you know questionable so obviously the, the treason that we've had and we've unfortunately had to have running our lives way before our ancestors like pretty much for millennia the treason that we've been involved on with hasn't been hasn't been stopped hasn't been changed it's just got worse and worse and worse and worse and now we are literally here in 2021 fearing for our lives not what not wanting to be vaccinated everybody needs to be on under oath and everybody needs to in and over and understand what taking that oath means they need to know that treason has been declared and they need to know that they are taking an oath to stop that no for me anyways when you take the oath the oath comes with clause 61 as a set of instructions you know treason has been declared and you've now got a set of instructions so the missing ingredient is obviously going out and doing what those set of instructions tell us to do now we can't go out and do that without the, the full like we need over 50 percent of this of this country of this community to be with us to do that so how we get this to work is by getting that 50 percent by people going around whether it's door knocking going for a phone book going through your contacts list whatever way that you can obviously working smarter or smarter not harder as well whatever way that you can to, to wake up people to get them talking about this to then essentially like the picture that i've got in my head is like, they own the media they own all of the resources that tell people what to do where to go and can control the control the crowds like they've got that we don't have that all we, we've got is is grassroots movement so we're up against a scenario like if we had media like what we did what we'd be doing is we'd, we'd be saying oh oi bbc oi itv oi sky like these guys reported on it once and never and just stopped so that's an interesting thing to talk about as well so when Clause 61 got invocated, it was reported on BBC, The Times, Guardian, Telegraph, all of these other major newspaper, newspapers that it, and news stations and radios. They were, it was, it was like their responsibility. They had to report on the truth. Because they didn't actually know 
what that means, right? Like this. They were probably worried. They were probably worried. They probably thought, well, okay, so the barons have got, come together with this petition. They've petitioned the queen. Like, if, if you actually read through the correspondence, it says that it's supported by thousands of members of the public, people that are in the military, the navy, and stuff. It was a very weighty, meaty statement of intent and petition, essentially. Talking about statement of intent, <clears throat> I know you've kind of spoke to me before about like making like a one like super template or super, yeah, super like document that we can use and, and um, serve to the government. So with with serving notices and, and things like I, I'll, I'll, I'll never call for serving a notice because we, we, we should just be focused on stopping the change. Um, I kind of explained it b before the reason why the notices were created were because these groups that were all change based and wanted to get change, wanted to do all of the instructions that Clause 61 telling us to do what we actually need to do to stop all of this treason. These groups got formed, all of these people, all these men and women took oaths. They knew how rotten, how corrupt, how treasonous the system was, and they wanted to change it. The missing ingredient back then was the people, they didn't have the people. And I think David Robinson, who's an absolute legend and somebody that can pick up any kind of treaty and give it a thorough analytical review with annotations and just just like a snap of a finger it's like the guy was a genius but um can i just interrupt briefly so <clears throat> just just listening to you say 50 percent of the people is what's required in your opinion i imagine to a lot of people that maybe aren't so action-based that kind of seems like Mission Impossible because they're looking around in their supermarket and they're seeing, fuck, I'm like the 1% here, maybe two at a push. Now, getting all of these people still wearing masks, still virtuously signalling to other people that they taking the vaccine and Just doing the their bit and whatnot. People are going to look at the figure of 50% and probably give up because it's such a mountain. Now, we've got Two million people marching in London with controlled opposition um, movements like agent I'm not, provocateurs. Agent provocateurs. I'm not going to mention any names of these movements because I don't want to make it into an us versus them, and I don't want it to want to create too much division here. But we've got two million people that clearly want action and they clearly want change and they've clearly had enough. Now, me personally, I think two million people in London all singing from an Article 61 hymn sheet is enough to really at least put a little dent in the system to start with. And I just want to like call out to people that are action-based, that are marching, that are giving their energy on Mondays and Saturdays and whenever they can get down to London and they're paying £60 train tickets. These people clearly want change. Yeah. yeah. And two, two million people that clearly want change is more powerful than than the, the idea of 50% of the population knowing about Magna Carta and knowing about treaty the, the treaty in the Article 6. It's, it's just about starting small, isn't well, it? I is say that... two, exactly. Two million is, like, Chris, you're, you're right. Like, you're both right. Two two million is a good, like, we've, we've, we're have we literally 100% certain and we can all agree that we've got two million people that can, I mean, I spent, what, over 120 quid that I definitely didn't have to get to London last time. And mm -hmm. there's, what, two million people that can do that every week, rain or shine. Like, they've got that there. It's a, it's a, it's a start. But that type of number, that's not like we almost need to have a siege mentality with this. Like we need yeah. to like it's not about turning up for three or four hours and no, shouting not. and that. Like what we need to do is essentially take places and siege them and hold them and defend them and do it enough until people join. So what does that look like? Sieging a building? How how can you do that lawfully? Because there's a lot of people right now. I think being edged into violence because they're so frustrated that they they're thinking. They're thinking, okay, we need to use force. We need to, we need to. Some people are having standoffs with police. They're they're hitting police. They're throwing piss at police. They're throwing eggs at police. Like th th this, this is just a signal of the frustration that people are, are experiencing right now. So when you talk about sieging buildings, how do you do that from a lawful perspective, and how how do you? How do you do that lawfully, basically? So obviously, with, with Clause Sixty One's invocation, we've got a declaration of treason. Acts and statutes and legislation comes from the exact same place that has been declared treasonous. So we 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 are technically and lawfully, we are the most honourable, lawful people in the Commonwealth and the Kingdom, because we are not aiding and abetting a place that has been directly declared as being treasonous. We have got that lawful excuse. 
with in terms of the question that you asked of seizing a building we've got lawful like our oath demands that we do like our RF demands us to be the most lawful people in this commonwealth and kingdom and country to essentially rectify this this treason and how do we do a siege we do that by being confident that we are being lawful that we're, we've our moral camp compasses are fully intact and, and ticking over our ethics are in line and we're all there to, to to do the same thing and with that communal spirit and togetherness the siege becomes quite easy because everybody from like we do you, you don't need 50 percent of the country to seize a castle you need a couple thousand the people on the outside to be supplying those people keeping things ticking over and just all the while like talking about it the more people that hear about those things the more people that will want to want to join want to help out and the more we can get and again like i said we've never had common law with clause 61's invocation and the clean slate and blank sheet that we have in front of us we have the perfect opportunity to create the most watertight ethical absolutely peaceful version of common law that, that we've never had and we have uh, the opportunity to seal it cement it make it so that we're never in this position ever 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 again yeah and i also just want to make a quick note of when you are sieging a building and when you are invoking something like article 61 lawfully I think it's super, super important for people to understand themselves on a deep level. I think this is where the personal self-growth comes from, like the self-work and knowing your true strengths and your true weaknesses comes from because it's not everyone's role to be violent and be aggressive, but it's definitely some people's life goal and life journey in, in this lifetime. That's that's why they're here. They're probably six foot six, fucking built like a brick shit house. probably haven't got that many brain cells to rub together, but they know something wrong's going down right now do you know what mm. i mean so they're clearly here to be the brawn <clears throat> they're clearly here to be the the muscle now there's people here that that are six stone ringing wet and their main power in this lifetime is their their mind their their intelligence and their ability to to to, to come up with logistics now that person's going to be great for organizing people and maybe coming from a lawful and and coming up with loopholes and coming up with with the brains behind it and there's going to be people that are coming from a spiritual perspective that are going to be meditating and producing like a, a, a spiritual protection around people and that's their that's their journey in this lifetime and there's this is why it's so so deeply 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 important to know your role in this and come together in unity and be comfortable in your role and don't try and play the role of someone else. Do you know what I mean? Like th th this is all about unity, all about coming together and all about really understanding who you are and what your role in this is. Because we all know something wrong is going on and we've all got different methods of going about it. But I think the true thing that should unite us is Article 61 of the Magna Carta and that communal effort to rectify treason and produce something better for humanity going forward. Yeah, it's, it's as easy as if if we if we can all agree that treason has been declared and that things are wrong like that once we've all got the agreement decide we don't need we've got a set of instructions conveniently but once we all if we're all under the common communal agreement that treason has been declared and that things are wrong we don't need a set of instructions we'll all know what to do yeah. but we all need to feel that and fully fully appreciate that it, like it does again there's such a what people think is a gap of paradigms between like rich people and poor people in this in this country and I, I'm, I'm poor myself but we're all in like rich and poor we're all the same we're, we're literally all slaves like they don't give a shit about anybody's money they've got federal reserves and fractional reserve banking and things like that like they they print money like confetti yeah. in the same way these yeah. these rich people have still received their vaccination letters through, through the post and stuff because they're on the list as well like we like we're, we're, we're dealing no one's with, exempt are they nobody nobody is exempt we are all slaves in this system so it doesn't matter if you're a a doctor or if you're a solicitor. I mean, it's going to be difficult, for, more difficult for solicitors to to come to terms with this. But <laughs> it does it doesn't matter who you, who you are. Like you are you are a slave. Like yeah. you, that that's. that's shows you that, man. Yeah. Well, we talk about Sestwi KV. That's something that not many people talk about. Or like it's starting to be talked about now, which is great. So Sestwi KV is another act again. That comes from the fire of London. Again, different avenues of research will show you that they weren't potential maybe fires, but away from that. That was when they didn't they they weren't sure they weren't sure how many living there were so they classed us all as missing and that from classing us as missing with us never de declaring us as returned we've ended up with these fraudulently created trusts and birth certificates which have, which have created our straw man and that's almost personified our our, our slavery yeah. and we're, we're born in it's almost like 
like, I remember I remember I went to a, a private school and it's when they're asking you like what you, what's your sir what's your connotation and stuff like that they're almost like getting you to be proud and feeling that that is your that's your mister that's your sir that's like, like when you're younger they refer to you as master and they like you to refer to yourself as that and it's all just acceptance of the slavery system to make to make to make it real to make their manifestation real so the common denominator in everything that we are speaking about all of this treason the common denominator is power and organization like anyone that's received a parking ticket knows let just look at that for example something as minor as a parking ticket you park somewhere apparently incorrectly according to someone's rules who's created these rules um you get your 35 pound fine say for instance the park you, you just forget it goes to the back of your mind you've got adhd you've got memory problems whatever it goes to the back of your mind you've got life to get on with do you know what i mean like like you, you've got life to get on with it goes to the back of your mind it's just a parking ticket they're going to be sending that letter through your door 28 days later if you don't pay it or reply now this is the level of organization that they've got going on there must be millions of people every week getting parking tickets and the same process goes on and the same level of organization comes and bites us in the arse basically it's it's the system biting us in the arse from a powerful and organized perspective now something that i've realized over the past year is something that we're lacking is organization and we've got the passion which far 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 outweighs power passion beats power all day long but it's the organization that we need to get no does anyone have any suggestions for the people watching maybe that are on side already how do we get organized like how do we remedy this from an organized perspective because to beat their level of organization and power we need a certain level of organization within within ourselves we're up we're up against a beast system that is <laughs> and, and this is how this is how they 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 get it as well they make everybody an individual cog in that beast that all works together to become like the perfect engine and they, they it keeps ticking and it's, it's almost impossible to stop because when they create it to the point that they've created it to now doesn't matter if you remove like one of the cogs it can still keep turning it can still keep churning so the only way that we come up and we defeat that which is what we need to do we need to we don't just need to come up we need to defeat that and then take it away and we do that by becoming i think in a people's partnership and sharing our, our literally everybody just being under oath just communally agreeing that we've got a problem that we need to solve it the rest will i think fall into place but the the com people need the confidence and the they need to almost assure themselves that what they're saying is what they're saying because a lot of people will say like oh treason's been declared but they're they're going out and they're they're posting things on like the equality act and stuff like this and just things that relate back to them like need to take it seriously and just unfortunately like people people get bored of me like posting the same things but it has to be the same things because the problem's never changed the problem's never changed and the solution is always here need to focus on the on the roots rather than the little off cuts that we're because we can bring up acts that are fraudulent and we can bring up parking tickets and we can bring up bus lane fines and we can bring up i can mention hundreds of different little bullshit things that we all just accept as normal and we just acquiesce and just go along without protesting but deeply pissed off about on that day getting pulled over for going five miles an hour over the speed limit for example these are all just the, the, the bushes, right? The, the bushes of treason. Like, and what we need to do is we need to focus on the root, which is what Article 61 brings us together to do, right? We're yeah. focusing on the root of treason. Yeah. So all of us being together to remedy treason, there, has, there does has, have to be some level of organisation. There has to be someone with some Virgo placements, Capricorn placements, organising the, 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 the real hard work the real organization and orchestrating people like I, I i'm very like i'm in the mindset now that ego people have to let their egos burn out no one can put themselves in a leadership role i feel like the natural leaders have to lead because people are here to lead and people will naturally lead and people will also naturally want a leader because maybe they don't have the capacity to lead themselves so it's hard to really put forward a leader or leaders but also at the same time we do need them clearly because that's just humanity and, and how we operate how do you think that we can lead this movement from an organized perspective because i truly do believe organization is well, the, one, key. the one thing that we've never had and even <clears throat> when we had the the lawful assembly the other the other week and that was 
in in my opinion anyways that was like the first time that the the narrative had been fully shifted away from these thing protesting and things that give them jurisdiction when we shouldn't be and it'd been the first time where it'd been flipped to a lawful assembly but i mean still on that day you had controlled opposition taking their their sections off completely dissecting things and we weren't able to really address everybody like the one opportunity that we tried to address everybody the police stormed in it was broken up we we never got to say anything so the one thing that's been missing is a large amount of people being talked to like i i hate podiums and never i never agreed with the, the the concept of talking down to people that's that just creates power structures that shouldn't be that yeah. but in terms of being on the same floor as, as a massive like imagine like a trafalgar like you could probably pack about a million people into that concrete square you could have it in four so it is an absolute fortress and nobody got within an inch of it and then off the off the back of that you could address those million people you could literally say look look we're all here because we're looking for organization we're we we're look we're looking for a way to to communicate with each other and to take this to the next step there's a million people here today thank you we need more millions of people here so we're going to do this we're all going to meet up in the same place the numbers are going to grow and then when we're all together we can start again once 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 that's once the ball starts moving with stuff like that and we start really getting a million dedicated people there that are truly aligned and that are there to get change and nothing but like we won't get touched we would be able to be there for, for days and weeks and months and on end if we really wanted to but re the reality is we, we need to be addressing people at the same time so we can all know what we're doing at the same time that's the coordination that's the organization and on social media it doesn't matter like if you have 50 million followers and you've got one account like for instance if cristiano ronaldo joined us and he starts posting like anti-narrative stuff his account's gone in a second so there's no point doing it stuff like that we need to <laughs> We need to be our own campaigns, our own grassroots movements, and ever and yeah. So, so, just like a quick one, like you mentioned Trafalgar Square, um, and we could regularly be consistent, be there. Mm. But like people watching who have been to protests and whatnot in the past year will tell you, like they will change the train ticket price. They will lock off certain parts of the underground so you can't get out of the station. They'll have police barricaded against the door who shouldn't be barricaded against the door because they're literally fucking over humanity by barricading that door. This this is the level of organisation that we're trying to be here. Like they, they literally have so many different angles privatised, like the police force is privatised, the, the rails are privatised, like ev everything has been taken over by these private corporations that have no face because they're run by CEOs and they're private limited, pu pu public limited companies. So they 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 just have a, a bunch of CEO like a CEO and a bunch of shareholders and like there's just so many like dilutions of 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 who actually runs these organisations and like I say like if we wanted to get into Trafalgar Square weekly there, there, there's there's no there's there's nothing stopping them to me to 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 locking off the underground every single Saturday saying it, it's structural works being done on the Northern Line or whatever do you know what I mean to or whatever Central Line. They were, they were doing they were doing all of that last like, i mean the first ones the first like three or four ones that i went down to in london they all the car parks were locked off and they would like got empty car parks and then fully staffed security outside these empty car parks to make sure that they stay empty car parks but yeah. that's all that's that's always been there and people have still gone past that and pushed them past that and we've still managed to get a good numbers there but it doesn't it doesn't have to be at london it does it, it could be it, it can be anywhere but yeah the main the main thing that that needs to needs to be done is like like we need the people we the the people need to be helping us and people need to be coming in and like i said the people's partnership that's how we almost need to start operating like some of the conversations that we're having in the truth pills group would be to again there are we need we need we need people with money people with, with resources coming in to join us because as, as soon as those people start coming in and joining us that's when we can start having conversations with people that own sales companies that get big data sets and that's when we can start being a people's partnership and combating them that way because the reason why they're successful is because they've got propaganda divisions that are pumping stuff out consistently with all the media platforms and stuff if we just um just sorry to interrupt but just just another thing that's coming to our mind is another thing and another way that they they control us and kind of like divert attention away from the real truth is through controlled oppositions uh, i've already touched on the groups that have led marches over the past year like, I would like a little, like, just a snippet from all of us, really, on how you personally discern whether someone is a, is a controlled opposition. Like, what, what, what tools do you use mentally to, 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 
to literally discern and decode whether someone has good intentions or not because people need to realize that the the the, the depths of what they will do to control this opposition mm-hmm. so stuff like article 61 gets defamed and discredited and whatnot it, it's it's endless they've got endless you know <coughs> freemasons and whatever and yeah they, they, they use multiple avenues and hidden people and agent provocateurs to discredit and just enforce treason through controlled oppositions like how how do you discern whether someone has good or bad intentions well yeah well for for, for me anyways i'll start it's yeah same as same as always it's clause 61 but it's how it's what they're doing with it and and what they're trying to get people to do using it that's that's how where i use my discernment like it's for i mean i'll just say it, i've said it enough times jackie phoenix don't trust her whatsoever but the the way that i discerned her was one by spending a month with her but also looking at how she's using clause 61 and how what she's getting people to do re and what is she doing like well she took the the main purpose of the group re, re, be, be, re, be, be, re it being building seizures and she flipped it to a notice based procedure so and just serving paperwork just serving paper. she's, cre- she's created she's created a, a massive army of pen pals and pen pushes that aren't ready for change so jim you asked earlier like um what did you ask how do you discern the controlled oh yeah ops, basically. you said how do you discern the controlled ops and obviously we've been at pretty much all these protests from the start observing them recording and documenting them um my answer comes from like a it's like you've both said yeah like don't don't bother signing this oath unless you've educated yourself and like you're talking about getting 50 percent of the country and how do we do that I still feel we're such at a, like a pioneering trailblazing stage of this that we still have to really just understand this and understand the true law and educate ourselves and from the spiritual perspective know your specific role and really understand where you're at like don't burn out thinking your role is just to print off oaths or something you know what it's like it's so much deeper um and when you get to know yourself then i think you start to really recognize these potential psyops but i'll I'll be honest it's very hard as people that i've been you know because what what these psyops do they give you so much truth they'll give you like 99 percent truth yeah and then obviously if it's like brand new to you your head's like this is amazing this is amazing and then the year on like they start doing weird things and you're like okay now i see that you're a psyop so i think you're on the path right on their path and then like they give you like the truth and stuff to make you think that okay this is where the truth comes from and then as soon as they've got people thinking that that's when the narrative control comes in and it's like right i've got them now this is how i control that narrative i've got them thinking what they like if you say like for instance the pld group Hmm. it's become pacified hasn't it because like a year ago you'd get like you'd get thousands of likes on a a post Hmm. and now you're looking at six likes you're looking at people waiting six days for a post to become verified by one of the admin and that in itself has pacified that group and yeah. pretty much taken the power away from that group so that's how they just control you down their path right this is why it's important for people to individually take control of their sovereignty right like and, and not yeah, don't seek anything external their, yeah, yeah yeah i think sometimes you can almost walk yourself into a site because you're looking for something so external you're at someone save me that's when you you you'll step into anyone's path and yeah. anyone's mission what they're leading and um i always say to people don't even listen to me trust me you got to discern everything for yourself because what i'm saying might not be right for your path this is right for my path and i'm speaking my truth and um going back to what jim said i think for me it's they, they might have the same input as us and they, they might have the same information but when it comes to like applying it I think that's when you'll start to notice that they're not on the same frequency as us. They're, they're, they've got a different agenda, mm. whether it's ego based, whether it's Freemasonry, whatever it is, they have a different agenda. Yeah. And because everything f- is so clear right now and it's clearly so, only about unity and solution. Yeah. If you're doing anything outside of that, to me, you smell iffy yeah. straight away. And there's been so many people like, yeah, we might not even know straight away, but eventually they reveal yeah. themselves yeah yeah and it's an energy thing isn't it the yeah world, man it's it's, it's it's draining man there's been a lot around me recently personally and um i've almost had to step into them close to like have conversations with them and like find out a little bit about them what they're doing etc cetera, etc cetera. and then i'm like oh, okay cool and i wouldn't have been able to do that if i didn't have the conversation so it can you be can very taxing because i don't i'm not trying to talk yeah. to these people like it's this uh, it's draining from a spiritual perspective it's 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 very demonic energy at, at sometimes you know what i mean yeah um, but yeah, you have to just um, listen to your inner sat nav, man. If there's 99 people going left, then you're the only person, the hundredth person going right. Go right, in it. Like that's that's what your past telling you. So yeah, yeah. man, that's what I would say on it. Definitely. Um, 
me personally, I decode things from an astrological perspective. I'm not going to spend too much time on that because I know people are, that's another thing people are not sold on. So I don't want it to discredit anything else I'm saying. Um, but I personally use what, what dates are these people planning things on? I look at the astrology for that day. Is it on a new moon? Is it on a full moon? Full moon is a high energetic day where people, where, you know, the powers that be, they use astrology against us on a daily basis. Full moon, um, great time for energy harvesting because everyone is just bitey. Like you'll notice around the full moon, your own energy. You don't need as much sleep. Just, just, t just take note. Just, just take note. Do a little test on yourself. Next full moon is in two weeks' time. You'll notice from now until then your energy starts to rise and peak around the full moon. And then two weeks after that, it becomes a new moon. The new moon is a time to surrender, let go and make intentions for the month ahead. So when these psyops and when these controlled oppositions are doing protests and marches, just type into Google moon placement today, moon placement on whatever date they've chosen. Uh, there's one on the 21st of August. It's a worldwide protest. Of course, it's on a full moon. Of course, it's on a full moon. <laughs> Of course it is. It's literally you almost on know the before moon. you look now, isn't it? It's you know, one of those. It's on yeah. a full moon and it's on Saturday. Saturn. It's Saturday is the sixth day of the week. Uh, it's ruled by Saturn. And if we all look at the agenda that Babylon, the system, whatever is creating, people call it satanic. Now, the, 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 the seed of Satan is literally Saturn. Satan, Saturn. It's... The, 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 the fact that they're doing it on this Saturn day, it just goes to show on a full moon on Saturn day, just goes to show you that there's a lot more, it's a lot more organized than you think. And it's not from the, the people that may be posting the posters. Yeah, it's definitely not the people that are apparently heading the group, because in my opinion, they don't have the spiritual knowledge. They don't have the intelligence, uh, intellect and just just the respect for astrology to even base it around that day. But me personally, I, I can see two protests on a full moon and be like, oh, okay, that, that's a coincidence. Now, I've been looking at the, the, the main protests people have been attending for the past year to, to 14 months, and every single one without fail has been on a full moon. Every single one. Now, some people have been in my DMs. Jim, Jim, it's the last Saturday of the month. No, it's not. Look back at the dates. It's not the last Saturday of the month. It's the closest Saturday to the full moon. The full moon energy lasts around three to four days. And they do it on the closest Saturday to that full moon. Everybody should at least have one agreement with this beast system that's in front of us. And I think if people really do the self-exploration, everybody's got multiple reasons not to like the system. Like we are all equally slaves in this system. I know it doesn't feel like that for some people sometimes, but according to them, we are all slaves in this system. So find your common denominators, find your reason to not like this system and look at this blank canvas reader, the invocation that we've got in front of us as an opportunity to change that and make sure that we are never collectively in this position again. Uh, we create something that's so watertight that has, uh, we have a whole treaty full of anti-treason and anti-tyranny clauses and have it so everybody is fully prepared and fully aware of what to do should we even get close to coming up to that opportunity again. And that's, yeah, that's what we can create. So for all the doom and gloom that's in the air and for all of the almost negativity that is around. I like to switch that around and I like to focus on the positive, which is the fact that our whole lives has been misery. So we can change that by the slip. Of, if I could clip my fingers, my bad hand, I'd do that. But we can we can change that in the click of our fingers when we all communally accept what has happened and want to change it. It is really as easy as that. So no, it, there's no complication involved with it. It's just a case of I don't like using the word, but Chinese whispers on a grand scale around this country. And then once we've done that, we get freedom back. So I'll end with that. <laughs> <laughs>